Jean Corcalina here. Thank you so much for being here. Whether this is your first time, your second time, or you have watched all of my videos, I am so excited that you have decided to click on this one. Really, 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 I appreciate you so much. As of right now, as I am recording this video, I am so close to my goal for the year and it's not even October yet. So, so close to that goal. That goal is 1600. As of right now, I've already passed 1580. So I'm getting really, really close. Um, hopefully by the time this video goes live, I'm going to be even closer to that goal. And if you want to join this crazy journey of mine, I would super, super love it if you hit that subscribe button and join me on my journey. Anyway, for today's video, I am going to talk about my favorite crossbody bags. So if you saw the last video, here is editing Jorgelina. This is going to be part two of my favorite crossbody bags. So go ahead and watch the first one if you haven't. I did record this in price order. So my last video would have been my five cheapest, and this would be my five most expensive uh crossbody bags so yeah they are my favorite i love them all the same even if it's the very very cheapest one or the most most expensive one i hope that you enjoy this video all right now we're gonna get into the really luxury pieces this first one that i'm gonna show you i'm showing it to you because of price and then the other one that i'm gonna show you is like my lux and one this is a stella mccartney bag and i got it at the site um, Essence, which I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure Essence is like a Canadian Nordstrom's. So it's like that type of store uh, that's in Canada, but they do ship to the States. I actually found Essence uh, through um, LV, Aliquette. I don't remember her. I'll link her down below, but she is also a math teacher, but she's based in Canada and she does all these awesome luxury bag videos. So I have followed her for a really long time. I really love her. Uh, she's adorable. And the fact that she's a math teacher like me is fantastic. So she teaches in Canada and she kept mentioning Essence, Essence, Essence. And a couple of years ago, I want to say three years ago or so, um, I really was looking for some Converse <laughs> and that was the only place that they had them. So my husband was able to purchase them and then I went into this rabbit hole shopping at Essence for some time because they still didn't charge shipping uh, depending on the amount. So it was still free shipping and it did take a little while because it was coming from Canada but they had these incredible sales that you can't find here. And that's where this Stella McCartney bag came from. So this Stella McCartney bag here is, um, it was around 1500 or something like that. And I got it for $400. So in terms of price, this is still one of my cheaper bags. It's not real leather. Stella McCartney uh, does vegan leather, whatever that means, or like vegetable leather or something like that, but it's not leather. So it's very, very nice though. I do love this bag. It fits a ton. My sister has it in black and because she had it in black, that's how I knew that I fell in love with it. And when I found it for so cheap, I had to send her a message because I know that she paid full price for it here. So I, she was like, oh my God, it's like more than a thousand dollars off. You have to get it. Um, I knew that it was a reputable, a reputable place. So I ended up just buying it from there and I haven't looked back. Um, and the reason why I actually got this one is because at that time, I really wanted the Neverfull um, hobo bag, which I do have. That's my other one. So this is a really large cross body bag, but it's the only way you can wear this bag, really. It does adjust. So it has a really cool adjustment that you can take these straps and they come off. I don't know if you could see this little button here. You just pull this off and then you can pull the tab down. I don't want to do it because it's at my perfect setting, but you just pull the strap down and you could make it into a shoulder bag. But I found that that was really uncomfortable for me to use it. So I do only wear this as a crossbody. 
and it works great. I definitely do not pack it um, very heavily. So it still has like that functionality of a smaller bag for me. But it is such a nice bag. I really like the way this strap looks when it's on. I just love the fact that I have this like cute little braid. I really, really like it, especially in the fall if I'm wearing a sweatshirt and I have this over. It just makes me feel fancy. I don't know how to explain it, but I really, really love this bag. I didn't have to uh, pay fancy price for it, and yet I got a fancy bag out of it. I don't know how to explain it, but I really, really love this bag. I love how much it uh, fits. So if you are a big bag type of girl or boy, <laughs> uh, you can 100% count on the fact that this is a great, great bag. It's really easy to find them on the resale market as well. They don't make this bag anymore, but I would love to add more Stella McCartney into my collection in the future. We'll see where that goes, but um, it's really easy there. Resale value is crap, so you can definitely find them for much, much cheaper if you are the buyer. If you're the seller, yeah, I uh, probably don't want to do that. So with that, my next bag in terms of price, I think has to be uh, this cutie. And that's just because I bought it from Candy, from Candy Sweet Love for LV. These are discontinued. I recently got this because I Candy hasn't been selling for that long. But I, I did an unboxing of this bag um, for my Candy Chronicles. So I've definitely had this for a while now, a couple of weeks, and I've been wearing it a lot. So I love it. I, uh, I wanna say like I've had it for two months now, maybe a month, I'm not sure but I have worn it quite a bit, despite of the fact that I'm trying to wear everything else. Like I've, I've been wearing this one in my Neverfull, just kind of on both days, one in the morning, one in the afternoon. So I've been switching out of this one a lot. I'm actually going to switch out of my Neverfull um, because I've been wearing this Neverfull nonstop. And I think I'm gonna switch out of this one and into this one because I'm going out to my cousin's birthday party. And I think this is what I wanna bring. So I haven't decided yet, but I really do think this is going to be the bag that I wear with what I'm wearing. I'm wearing all black today. So love this bag. This is such a great crossbody bag. I know a lot of people talk about the Odeon, but this pocket again, right? This magnetic pocket. It just, there's a theme here, right? So I absolutely love this pocket. And when you open this, right, it has a super nice zipper, uh, candy included, a really nice insert or her co-signer uh, co did uh, because it has that bright green um, insert in there it's really hard to, it's really easy to see if it doesn't have the insert it's a big black hole or so I've heard I've only used it with the insert since that's how I got it so I love it the strap that it comes with is probably the best crossbody strap black crossbody strap that I have it is so much different than the one that came with my Speedy. It's a lot thicker um, in terms of this, and it's a lot softer than the one that came with the Speedy. So I really, really like this strap. It is such a good strap. Um, I have worn this strap with my Neverfull pouches, uh, and I just love the way that it looks. So again, great strap, uh, great bag, super comfortable, fits a ton definitely looks tiny on the body so i really 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 like this bag um i i don't know i'm i'm surprised it took me this long to finally get my hands on one um and i'm so glad that i was able to pick one up from candy because i uh was able to use purchases i was able to use funds from bags i wasn't using anymore but even with that it was so well priced that um it's still one of my cheaper uh louis vuitton bags all right, next on my price list, it would be this one here. This is the Eva Clutch. It is very, very cute. I do really like this bag. This bag was purchased from somebody that I will not name, <laughs> uh, but it was purchased from somebody that I no longer shop with, But um, and I did overpay for it, but I did really uh, definitely want this bag, and I use it a lot. I... I'm so surprised with how much this fits. So this is like a special occasion crossbody bag. But anytime that I need a tiny, tiny crossbody bag, and I have so many, 
this is usually what I end up going with because it fits so much. So I know that to go into like these smaller bags, I really have to switch everything that I'm using. So I have to really be in the mood to wear these bags. This one, because of the op the large opening that it has, I, I don't have to switch out of my wallet. I don't have to switch out of my keys. Like, I could just throw everything in there. I have to minimize what I carry. Like maybe I can bring my catch all, but um, like the my absolute necessities will fit in here exactly how they are on my bigger bags. So I do really, really love it for that. I do not like the strap that it comes with. It's very, very thin, but I do still use it. So I use this strap still with it. But I have come to find out that I can use my uh, other straps now that I have. So the last time that I wore it, I used the strap from my uh, Speedy and I loved it. So I have the Speedy 25 and Damiera Bean that I also got from Candy at an incredible price. Um, so I used that strap with it and it worked so much better. But I still do absolutely love this bag. It's great. Um, I would love to have it at some point in monogram, but again, not in a hurry and definitely not something that I'd pay what I pay for this one. I actually don't even wanna say how much I paid for this one, but um, it was over what anybody should. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna put this one back. All right, coming to the end. I only got two more to show. The next one, it is my, and I, I love that this one's coming up at the end because I think this is my all time favorite and it's my Pochette Matisse. I love this bag to death. I don't think I need to say a lot about it because I feel like it's everyone's favorite. Um, my particular Pochette Matisse, I did buy at the boutique. My husband bought it for me in 2020 um, when the world shut down. Uh, this was my bag that he bought for me. I absolutely love this bag. I've had it since. I wear it a ton. Um, anytime that I've gone out with like my friends, this is probably the bag I'm bringing with me. I love carrying it. It's so functional. Uh, if it's absolutely everything that I need, it has the best strap in the world. People sell those straps and I don't know how you are willing to part with it um, unless you have more than one Pochette Matisse so you don't need two straps or something, but it's the best strap ever. I use that strap with the Montaigne. I use that strap with the Neverfull BB. I use that strap with the mini bum bag. I use that strap obviously with the Pochette Matisse, but that strap gets so much more use than even the bag itself. Absolutely love it. Um, mine has some watermarks, but it's kind of hard to see. Uh, but it, I love the way that it's patinaed. This has the most wear on it. It has some water spots and it looks a little funky, but I, I don't mind it. I've put those marks there. So I absolutely love this bag. This bag gets a ton of use. It has probably the best cost per wear out of any of my bags because I do use it so much. Um, I love, 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 love this bag. Um, yeah, it was, again, I've had it since 2020. This one is still one of the ones that have um, a date code. So I know for sure that this is a 2020 bag but I've never had any issues with glazing or anything like that that people were experiencing. Mine's always been perfect. Um, so it's the first one that I got and I got to keep it and it's still in my collection. And yeah, again, I don't have to go into much detail on the Pochette Matisse. It is amazing and I love it. This is number 10. This is the last bag. And this bag is absolutely beautiful and it is the most expensive one that I have out of all of them. And yet I love her dearly. I do wear her a lot. This is my biggest crossbody bag, but I do not wear it. I mean, I do not pack it so much. And that is, if you see the strap, you probably know what it is. And I kind of mentioned it a little while ago, but it is the Loop Hobo. The loop hobo. What the heck are those stripes on it? There, there's like stripes coming up um, with the light. Oh boy. Okay, well that's showing somewhere. I'm pretty sure you can see that, but that's probably from hanging like this, right? So um, yeah, wow. I've done this to the bag. You can clearly see like the streaks running down it from where, but I use this bag a lot. I will continue to use it a lot. Anytime that I wear it, I get compliments on it. Still to this day, even though it's like a highly popular bag, 
I do not wear this bag with an insert. It's one of the few bags that I don't have an insert for um, because I feel like the insert is gonna make it not a slouchy. It's a nice big opening. Um, you have this gorgeous, gorgeous um, gold chain strap that it comes with that you can wear it as a shoulder bag. Although this is not my preferred way of wearing it, or maybe it is. I do wear it a lot like this. This is how I grab it from the car. So like when I need this bag, I just grab it from here. So I do use the chain a ton. But when I'm wearing it, like when I'm out walking, I'm not just like grabbing it and going. If I'm walking around wearing this bag, I'm wearing a crossbody. So that's why I included it in this video because that is my preferred way to wear it. It's extremely comfortable. And because I don't pack it a ton, um, I still consider it a pretty like medium sized bag, even though it's pretty large. Um, it is a large size bag, but I don't wear it as such. So um, I also didn't just want to pick a 10th. I wanted it to be a nice number. I didn't want it to be nine. I wanted it to be 10. And I didn't just want to pick a bag that I didn't actually truly enjoy wearing as a crossbody bag or that I would consider it to be a best. So this is definitely the biggest one in my collection. I wear it crossbody. And I love the way that this looks. Maybe I'll switch into this one. I, I don't know. I love the way that it carries. It's great. Um, I was totally influenced uh, by Marquita to buy this bag. It's definitely something that was like, she was talking so much about it and I really, really wanted it. And it took me, I mean, I didn't get it right away. It took me a while to get it but 100% because of her. But then I remember Candy unboxing hers and it just started becoming this like huge thing. Everybody had one. Um, so it was sold out at the boutique for a long time and then eventually I got my hands on one and it was not a very good bag. It was peeling all over. I was really upset about it. I took it back to LV. Uh, they actually gave me a hard time to return it the first time they wouldn't take it back because they said that it was used that I had used it and I had had the bag for 30 days so of course I mean you buy a bag you're gonna use it I'm not just gonna have it sitting there um, so I remember them not uh, wanting or letting me return it so I was really upset I went home I was just devastated that because it was really peeling all over the place and my husband was like, you need to go back. And I remember posting um, a picture of it online on a Facebook group. And people were like, you you need to go back and you need to fight this. Uh, they're, you know, they're supposed to, you know, quality issues are a thing. Of course, you're going to wear your bag. So I went back. I asked for a manager. And what they did during that time, it, this was at South Coast Plaza. Um, at South Coast Plaza in Costa Mesa, upstairs they have a repair shop and the girl told me you know there we don't have like repair places all over the place this is actually one of the few places so you're lucky that you're here uh, i'm gonna take it up because i think it's just glue um so they're they'll, they should be able to clean it so i was like okay great if it is just glue then take it to clean it so they took it to clean it they brought it back and the girl was like giving me the bag back and i told her it's not just glue you could still see like yes now you can't see the peeling anymore like the little fluff on it but you can totally see the fact that there's something missing it's a different color uh so and she agreed with me when you would run your finger through it you can see that it was peeled um so she uh let me return it so i ended up exchanging it but it was just kind of a heartache and it, that threw me off from lv for a little while so i didn't shop for quite some time um because of this bag but i do love it and now i can see that um it definitely has those marks it there it's kind of kind of looks odd i see discoloration it's so crazy i don't think it's coming off on camera you could see the lines like the stripes just kind of going down but it's different colors and i really wonder what that's from so yeah, weird, really weird. If you know what that is, let me know. But that's really odd. Um, but I, I've had I've had this one for a while now. But it's on both sides. Kind of kind of weird. All right. 
that is it for my crossbody bags. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I was little, a little all over the place, but it was time to post a new video. It's been a while. I know my schedule is all over the place, but I am still sticking to two videos a week and I'm going to keep doing that until the next one. Thank you so much for being here. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, please make sure that you do. Once I hit 1600, I have a, a giveaway coming. If you're interested in knowing what that giveaway is, I gave a little bit of a preview on my last video. So go ahead and watch that one. You can click on just the giveaway part and check out what that is. And if that convinces you, go ahead and follow me along. I can't wait to see you on the next one. Bye.